Hey guys and welcome back and today we're going to talk about Synology Active Insight here at the Synology 2020 event here in London. Now Active Insight is one of those applications I've already talked about a fair few times here on the channel mainly because a lot of you don't aren't really going to see the benefit. It's meant to be used as an overview point of a number of different Synologies in multiple locations and, they're let, and from there let you action and recommend different ways to you know avoid problems it will let you know about the performance if there's any critical issues with regards to storage and hardware within all your different NAS devices but on top of that you've also got lots of historical data presented to you in a myriad of different ways via statistics now this 24 7 service does require bouncing from the Synology server but you know they don't force you to do this it is an optional extra now, if we carry on, we can look at lots of information with regards to individual volumes on different Synologies and different storage pools within that storage network. It lets you know if there's any issues in the background. And if you do come across any events, we can click down here. In this scenario, we've got three events here that have occurred on different Synology NASs. This is a virtual uh, playing field here to go with. But if we have a look at this one, we can see that the SSD model and firmware version installed in one of the disks in this particular flash station NAS is ab classed as abnormal. So from here, you can institute changes and it has recommendations for ways in which you can resolve this issue. And it's lots of preemptive measures too. If we go back to that list there, we can have a look at, we have an SSD and abnormality. It's saying that the SSD cache in part of this storage setup is degrading and from here there are recommendations on things you can switch out and do to resolve this. Now from here you're able to go directly to the NAS itself and the DSM or the graphical user interface but Active Insight is not designed primarily to let you institute changes. It doesn't let you via this software platform make the changes necessary. What it does is it makes recommendations for things you can do while monitoring your NAS 24-7 all the time bouncing from that server. For those of you that have got numerous Synology NASes in your storage enterprise network to monitor, this will be an absolute godsend. Now, if you do want to institute bigger changes overall, then you can look at things like the Synology CMS system, where they've completely overhauled a number of those key features that allow you to set up background tasks and duplicate tasks, one-shot tasks, very, very easily. But this is Active Insight here. I know it doesn't seem like much here on the screen, but once you go into the host, you can find out all kinds of real-time information via a single screen about what's going on with this device. But this has been Active Insight, one of the many apps that's going to arrive in DSM-7, and we're all looking forward to seeing that beta and hopefully the final release. Otherwise, don't forget to click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and of course, click the bell to be notified on new content. I'll see you next time.